What is going on family? Welcome to the channel. I'm Harlan D. White. In today's video, I do want to provide an update on where I'm at in terms of my 2021 financial goals. I set goals in three different areas, one of them being investing, the other one getting out of debt, and the last one being giving. It's been a while since I put out a video, over 40 days, and some of my really close friends have been giving me a hard time saying, where are the videos? Where are you supposed to be getting out of debt by now? And so definitely want to provide everyone with an update. Otherwise, you know, things have been very good. Um, a lot of different changes going on personally, working some things out with my wife and spending more time with my family, preparing to be a grandfather, helping my son learn about personal finances, getting him into investing and buying cryptocurrency. So it's been a lot of good stuff. So it feels good to jump back on the camera and provide an update. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the first goal area that I set for myself, and that was an area of investing. Specifically, I sought out to contribute at least 6% into my company's 401k, and I have achieved this because in January, I set it up at 6%, and I have not changed it. Now, a little bit of background on why I decided to set this up as a goal was because last year, in the May timeframe, I started on a debt-free journey to eliminate almost $50,000 in debt. And so between May and December of last year, I was able to reduce my debt by a little over $26,000. And what that meant was all of my extra money went towards paying down debt, and I did not prioritize investing. And specifically, when it came to my 401k, I reduced my contribution from 5% to 1%. I took that extra money, and I put it towards paying down debt. However, coming into this year, I want to put a higher emphasis on investing. And so that's why I set the goal to make my investment into my 401k 6% and I've stuck to that. Two other areas that I started investing in this year that I was not taking advantage of last year was number one, my HSA or health savings account. I started taking a portion of that money and investing it into the stock market. Previously, I didn't know that was possible. So I would definitely highly recommend if you do have an HSA to look into that and see whether or not that makes sense for your own particular situation. But that's one of the things that I'm definitely glad that I did this year that I was not doing previously. And then the other area of investing that I started off this year that I did not do last year was investing within cryptocurrencies. And to be quite honest, I had no idea what a cryptocurrency was last year until this year in the late January timeframe, I ended up buying Dogecoin as a result of Elon Musk. And that got me researching what cryptocurrencies were. And so most of this year I've been buying into various different cryptocurrency projects. And then specifically in June, I, I kind of transitioned from cryptos in general and started learning a lot more about Bitcoin. And then in the July timeframe, I decided to move all of my other cryptocurrencies into Bitcoin. And now I've been primarily focused on investing into Bitcoin. But overall, those are three of the changes that I made in terms of investing this year versus last year. So I'm very happy with the progress that I've been making towards this particular goal. All right, and so the second goal area that I set for myself this year was to be completely debt-free by the end of this year. And right now, I still have the ability to, to hit that target. However, there has been some delays in my roadmap because at one point earlier this year, I had set the goal to be debt-free by August. I pushed it back. And then my new goal was to be debt-free by this month, and I'm going to push it back. So I wish I hadn't gave some goal projections and not hit them, but that is the case. However, at the beginning of the year, the main goal is to be debt-free by the end of the year. And no promises, but I am going to still shoot towards that. Now, the reason why I am not completely debt-free at this point in time is because I took some of the money that I've been setting aside to make a lump sum payment on my last remaining debt, which is a 401k loan. I have about $3,700 remaining. And so the only way I can pay that off is to pay it off in a lump sum. And so I set some money aside to be able to make that payment, but I took some of it to go on a vacation with my wife and then also took another portion of it to invest in the dip when Bitcoin's price went down last month. And so as a result, I'm building that money back up and hope to have enough to pay it off by the end of the year. However, I'm completely happy with the decision to take some money from that last month. And so as a result, that is my update on my debt-free journey. Definitely still making progress. Since my last update video, I was able to pay off my other 401k loan. And now again, I just have this last one remaining. And each paycheck, $47, does go towards knocking that debt amount 
down, but at that rate, it would be years before it's paid off. So I'm definitely looking to speed that up. All right, and the last goal area that I set for myself this year is to be giving at least 10% of my gross income towards charity by October. This is now October. And so the way that I went about hitting this goal is starting in the January timeframe, I gave 1%, February 2%, and I increased it by 1% all the way up until October. So this month I will be giving at least 10% of my income. Now, I do have some room for improvement because the real goal was to give at least 10% towards charity, which I would classify personally as either a nonprofit or church. And so that's actually not the case because a percentage of my giving will be going towards gifts for other people. So overall, I do have some room for improvement. However, I'm very happy with the progress that I've been making in this particular area because it's definitely a lot better than I did last year and the year before that as well. So overall, I'm happy with all the goals that I set out for myself and my progress towards them. And I'll be sure to update you all in a few months here and let you know whether or not I have achieved these particular goals. If you have any questions for me, definitely leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, make sure you like the video. And to be notified of future videos, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, until next time.